Hi there everyone, it's Tara and today we're going to be exploring Google Classroom. Um, it, it's really a tool that serves as mission control for the classroom. You can create classes, distribute assignments, send feedback, and just see everything in one place. Today I'm going to be working with the web version, but there is an app for the iPad. So if you want to start off, you're going to go to classroom.google.com and sign into your account. All right, once you're signed in, you're going to see your dashboard. And from here, you're ready to start creating your class. Now you're going to see lots of buttons as we go through here, and there's really a lot of power in this tool, and you can do lots of different things. But today I'm going to be showing you just the basics on setting up a classroom for your students. So the first thing you want to do is hit the plus sign and click Create Class. You're going to give your classroom a name, and the section and, section and subject are, are optional for you. So you click Create, and essentially I could be off to the races at this point. You can see that Google automatically generates a beautiful photo for you, but if you wanted to customize that, you could do it from the right. But really, you're ready to get going. You have three main pieces to the Google Classroom, your stream, your student information, and the About section. In the About section is where you're going to find basic classroom information. You're also going to be able to house materials that you would probably use maybe on a daily basis. For example, a class syllabus. Um, you're also going to have access to your Drive folder and classroom calendar. The student section is where you're going to be able to manage all your students as well as parent interaction. Once you invite students, you'll be able to see them listed here. And you can invite students in two different ways. You can send them individual emails, but it's really easy to just put the class code up there and allow them to join from the plus sign uh, where we created the class. The next part that you're going to look at, and this is where the bulk of the work is going to happen, is right here in the stream. Anything that you attach to the stream is going to kind of go right here in this middle section, and anything you need to add is going to be done from this plus sign in the bottom uh, right hand corner. You have an announcement, which is just that, making an announcement to students. You have an assignment where students can turn things back into you. You can also start a discussion by creating a, a question within your classroom. And then you have the option to reuse a post at the, at the top there as well. We're going to take a look at the announcement because it's set up um, pretty universal between the three things, except for the special things that they do. And, and we can talk about that in just a second. But once you type uh, or tap on create an, an announcement, it is just that, an announcement. So I could put picture day tomorrow. And from here, I can choose to attach something from my computer, something from my Google Drive, a YouTube video, or even a link. I also have the option of when I post it. Okay, so I can post it immediately and it goes right into my stream and my students will get it right then and there. Or I can choose to schedule it out or maybe even save it as a draft and come back to it later. So I'm going to go ahead and post it now so you can see where it lives right here in the stream. Okay, but then let's take a look at some of these other options. When you create an assignment, you're going to give it a title. Right? and any instructions. Okay. You can choose to give it a due date and file it under a topic. And again, you have those options for the different types of um, attachments. What's really nice too is that I can choose to just send it to my demo class or any of my other Google Classrooms. And I can decide to send it to all my students in that classroom or if I had students generated, I can pick and choose who I send it to. So now you're ready to send it off. Another really neat feature is adding something from your drive and being able to make a copy for each student. So I'm going to go in here. And add a document and now I can choose whether students just view it. If they can edit it and all work on it together or then make a copy for each student. And it's as easy as that. It's as easy as that. And then your other option is to create a question. And that's Google Classroom. Thank you for watching this tutorial and be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.